please join us in congratulating Donna Gay Anderson. Thank you so much and thank you Dr. Gee for your wonderful inspiring words and the words of Langston Hughes, one of my favorites. So, Melissa, where are you? Right on here. She gave me 60 seconds. Okay. Ready, Melissa? All right, go. Thank you, Greater Hammond Chamber, committees, and guests. Thank you to the honorees all dressed in their best. And to my past employers, my teachers, my friends, and to my special lawyer, you're the best in the end. <laughs> and to our dear Ann Ferguson, who's watching from above, we thank you for the opportunity to share this love. The arts are my thing. Give me a book or a song. Give me a twirl around a stage or a soliloquy long. I can't imagine life without a wall full of art. Pretty pictures, scary pictures, finger paintings, a start. And to the neighborhood book club, hey, you are my heart. The books and tea we share on Mondays sets you apart. Without you, I'd just be another solitary reader. But now I've got a squad. I'm the reader's ringleader. <laughs> Wait, there's more. <laughs> so now you figured out that Hamilton is my man and Lin-Manuel Miranda is my muse. I'm a fan. And though he'd be quite flattered at my rapper intentions, the truth is that I am committing copyright infringement. <laughs> if I leave the room too quickly, it's because, as I've attested, there's a very good chance that I am going to be arrested. <laughs> so every time you hear a song, a rhyme, or a tune, keep in mind that a creative person brought that to the room. Not to mention that the frocks you wear the baubles tied up in your hair are there because creative humans dreamed them all up. Read a book, hum a tune, write a line, sing a song. All that artsy stuff is here because writers drove it home. So for this recognition, I'll just leave you with this thought. It's the arts that bring civility to this world we bit off. That's true. Thank you, Greater Hammond Chamber. We congratulate Mary Beth Crevetta as an Annie Award honoree. Well, I'm tossing my speech. In 2006, I was on Wheel of Fortune. Forget all that other stuff. I won $28,000 and went to the Caribbean. <laughs> now, I should have made that a song. Okay, I'm sorry, that's, don't count that part. Good afternoon. It is indeed a tremendous honor for me to be included in such a select group of past and present Annie Award recipients which includes many who were seated here today who were former colleagues and uh, still friends. I knew Dr. Ann Ferguson personally as a student. I am a product, proud product of the SLU Lab School, and I remember when she was a teacher when I was a young girl at, at Lab School and as an education student at Southeastern. I would like to thank the Greater Hammond Chamber of Commerce Melissa, Bordelon, and the Selection Committee for recognizing the efforts of this third generation educator. I would like to thank my wonderful husband of over 30 years who encourages me to pursue my dreams and inspires me to serve others. We met in Dr. Brian Schishler's methods class. <laughs> he asked me out on the first day of class. We did student teaching together the next semester and were married right after graduation. I know, isn't that sweet? <laughs> It was Dr. Schischler's legacy that he had introduced us. 30 years, uh, 31 years later, we're still an excellent team of educators and he helps to um, inspire me to serve. And just so you all know, it takes a strong man to be married to a strong woman. <laughs> so we know how valuable he is. I also want to thank my mom, who modeled excellence in education and commitment to serving at-risk and poverty students as a principal at Hammond Eastside. I thank my children for enduring my late nights and weekends at work, 
but for also helping me serve others with willing hearts. I thank my brother Steve and his wife Michelle, both educators, who always listen when I have lots to say. And I want to thank my dad for not only believing in me, but also believing in every student who came through Hammond High and modeling that every child can learn and every child is important. Thank you all again for this award. I will end with my rotary motto. Those of you who are Rotarians can end with me. Just remember, service above self. Thank you. Join us in congratulating Antoinette Harrell. Good evening. First of all, I would like to thank the Hammond Chambers, the Greater Hammond Chambers Congress, and the committee for this distinguished award and honor. My dear friend Jeannie Forres for nominating me for this award. I would like to thank my family, my husband for doing the laundry, <laughs> shopping, <laughs> and putting up with me when there's an issue that I must take on. Passion is what drives me. And to all the women, past and present, our four mothers, and all the young women of the world who are making a difference. Jane Brown once said, this is a man's world. I disagree. This is a woman's world. <laughs> One man. <laughs> We're the only ones that can multitask. We can do the laundry. We can take phone calls. We pay the bills. We can go shopping. We can do it all. A man can't handle but two things at a time. <laughs> so without women, where would this world be? I just want to say something before I take my seat. If we want to make this world a better place, we have to look within. And we have to find something that really means something to us to be that change. And to be that change, to make this community a better community for everyone. And to make this state a great state. Regardless to what obstacles we may face every day in our everyday life. When we die, we want people to remember us by the things that we did to make this world a better place for all humanity. And starting right in our local communities and in our homes and where, it's begin where it begins. So I just want to say thank you. It's an honor and a pleasure to serve this beautiful community. And it's people like you that can be the change. Thank you. Congratulations, Sandy Summers. Good afternoon, y'all. <laughs> Before I say what I have in my mind to say, just a transparency moment, um, a little nervous walking up in front of you guys, but at that same moment, um, God basically said, in your weakness, I'm made strong. And so just as he has carried me over situations daily throughout my life, He'll carry me through these next two minutes and following Donna Gay. Like, <laughs> really, Donna Gay? Like, I could just come up here and say, thank y'all for coming out. God bless you. Good night. How can we go? <laughs> so, but, you know, today is about service. And I know different folks have different opinions about what service means to them. And it's going to mean different things to different people. We all have different skills, different abilities different availabilities, but we shouldn't let those things stop us from serving. I think a lot of folks look at their neighbor and say, oh gosh, she's chairing this committee, she's doing this, she's doing that, but you can't really look at your neighbor, you need to do what you're able to do, which, whatever your reasonable portion of service is. And, and a lot of people try to discount that, but no matter what your contribution is, whether it's small in your mind, a lot of times it's huge to the person that may be over the event um, and, and really spearheading an event. Um, I have to mention Miss Rosa Dunn, one of our Annie Award winners who is no longer with us. And she was a great help to me um, for our Women Mean Business Conference. She came in and helped with just great ideas, awesome support system. And, and if anybody knows Rosa, her statements always started and ended with boo. <laughs> and so she would say, boo, I'm just trying to lighten your load. And you know, she, she kind of downplayed you know, the, the mentoring and the guidance that she gave to me, but her help was invaluable. So, so if anyone is thinking that your service is not enough, it is. 
and you're, you're doing more than that person that's sitting on the couch, right? That kind of applies to exercise. I, I need to follow that same. <laughs> when I'm, okay, but whatever. So um, I, I do want to accept this award, though, on behalf of those who serve behind the scenes. You know, we have a lot of people that do so much. They serve diligently. And a lot of times, they're not publicly acknowledged. And sometimes we don't realize their impact until they're not there. So I do want to accept that on behalf of this award, on behalf of those who serve behind the scenes, and to give them um, you know, some recognition today. Um, I also want to thank the Greater Hammond Chamber for continuing to honor Dr. Ann and all that she's done, um, and continuing to um, instill a legacy of service even after her time in glory. I um, also want to acknowledge the Tangy Lifestyles and North Oaks Health System for supporting this event. Um, I want to thank my family and friends for being here, some that I did not know about, but I'm <laughs> glad y'all made it. And also, um, Tangpro Professional Women for nominating me and the covert mission <laughs> that went on for this nomination. I think a few white lies were told, but <laughs> I understand. So. Again, I, I stand humbled and grateful to stand beside such an accomplished group of women, and, and I'm truly honored. Thank you. First honored with an Annie Award in 2002, our first Legacy Award winner is Mrs. Dot Levine. Well, when they read all those things and you have no note cards and no speech, you just stand up here and talk off the top of your head. I do have to say that when I received the Annie Award in 2002, which makes me very old now, <laughs> that it was a great honor. And I looked at the names of the people that have received all these, and I felt so humbled because it's like, I don't deserve this. So I certainly am surprised about this one. I want to thank all of you for being here. I'd just like to say that some of you know it has been a very difficult week. My husband is in the hospital. He's awaiting heart surgery. So we are dealing with that and we didn't find out until 10 o'clock last night that his surgery was not going to be today. So I talked to Ginger and I said, I don't know if I'm coming. I might come, I might not come. It was kind of all up in the air. But I do firmly believe that God has his hand in everything and it's going to be okay. If you are prayer warriors, I ask for your prayers for my family and for me because I'm the mouthy one. I'm the one that <laughs> tells people where they're supposed to be, when they're supposed to be there and how to take care of it. So just uh, remember us and thank you very much. I am totally honored. Please join me in congratulating Miss Betty Stewart. Really? I mean, y'all could have gave me some heads up on this, Nikki. <laughs> wow, wow, what an honor. Uh, I'm just so humbled today, you know, to see all my friends in this room. When I received the Annie Award, I thought that was just the highlight of my career. But this is, this is very, very special. I remember when Michelle received it, and I was like, wow, you know, what an honor that is. I, I just can't tell you all how much I appreciate this. It would have been nice to have a speech, but thank you all to the Hammond <laughs> Chamber, to Melissa, to the committee. You all, I know, you, you all know how much I love you and think of you, each and every one of you. Thank you.